Perfect. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the family. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a new unit from Zuri Sis Wigs in the style hardy and I have her in the color too. She also comes with a couple specialty colors like amber, coral, and prism blonde. And the big thing about this unit is the HD lace. Like seriously y'all, look at that hairline. Now this is a synthetic wig. She is about 24 inches long. And as you can see, the curls is really, really defined. And the big thing about this that really surprised me when I took her out the box was the fact that it has an adjustable elastic band, hunty. You know what that means? Glueless wigs. Okay, honey, I'm so excited for this. And I also was very excited to see the amount of parting space that was offered as well. The lace actually goes ear to ear. And this is a look at what the actual lace looks like with its natural color, no product or anything. Now don't judge me y'all, but this quarantine has really been getting to me and I have not really had the motivation to actually do a full braid down. So this is my super quick way of just securing your hair, getting it as flat as you can without doing like six or seven cornrows. So this is what I do. I just take uh, two barrettes and put it on each side of my head and then I'm going to go ahead and grab a wig cap. Something similar to my skin tone. It's not an exact match, but it'll do. I kept debating back and forth on whether or not I should do the ball cap method, honey. So, you know what? I just went ahead and went for it. So, I'm taking some scissors right here and cutting some little holes out for my ears. And I don't know why, but I've made so many weird faces during this video, so I apologize for that. Um, but, oh, definitely be more gentle when you're pulling your ear through because you don't want it to rip like that. Now, taking my freeze blast spray, I'm going to go ahead and spray the perimeter. Make sure it is nice and laid down, hunty. And like I said, this is me just in my zone <laughs> looking beautiful as ever <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry make sure it's nice and secure and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut and trust me this video is sped up I was not cutting this fast please be careful because the last thing you want to do is literally cut yourself and it's gonna be bad now I'm taking a little bit of my Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation. Any foundation will do that is similar to your skin tone. And I'm going to go ahead and use some Got To Be Glued and apply that up the very edge of the wig cap just to go ahead and melt the edges down since they were lifting up a little bit. And here's a closer look at what those curls look like without being brushed out. I also went ahead and put some makeup onto the lace as well. I did have some actual lace tint, but it was too dark. So if you're like me and you don't have lace tint, just use your foundation on a beauty blender and lightly dab it on your lace and it should be just fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and pin my hair up and right now I'm kind of just seeing exactly where I need to put some glue. I know I have the elastic band for the glueless method but I always have a problem with the sides of my lace lifting even if it is glueless. So I still went ahead and added a little bit more of the got to be glued on each side because like I said that is exactly where it gives me problems and it lifts. So. I went ahead and did that, made sure it was a little bit tacky, and then I'm going to bring the wig down and I'm going to make sure my blow dryer is on warm and just let it do its thing. I'm using the broken end of my rat tooth comb to go ahead and just press everything down. And I really didn't want to do anything to this hairline. I wanted to just put this wig on straight out the box, no modifications because it does come pre-tweezed. So I did go ahead and just cut the lace off and style some baby hairs. And overall, it only took me about 30 minutes to go ahead and do this start to finish, including with the bald cap method. I have recently worn this wig 
glueless like it's able to um and that literally was like five minutes and that's it so definitely take advantage of the glueless method as well now I do want to mention a couple of things. Um, I didn't like how the curls came straight out the package, so I did brush them out. If you are kind of concerned with um, uh, what I want to say, shedding, uh, yeah, it sheds just a little bit, and it also tangles. Every time I was manipulating it into a different style, I was just basically just sitting there, and it started to look messy so i just want to go ahead and be sure to mention that to you guys definitely bring a brush if you are going to be wearing her out now is it the worst tangling i've ever experienced no but just be prepared sis now the parting space i am obsessed look how natural that is that is with no concealer no plucking no nothing that was literally me just getting my comb parting it and bam, that middle part, honey. I also wanted to see what this style looked like with a side part, so this is what she looks like. Now, I've never reviewed the Sensational Wet Lace, but I feel like this may be comparable just from the reviews that I've seen. And from what I've seen online, I feel like the price point of this unit ranging from about $39 to $55 from a few beauty supply stores online. Um, I definitely think it's worth it. I feel like the way Siswig stepped up with this one, like I'm very excited to see what other um, units come out with this as well because it definitely looks a million times better than some of the other hairlines of synthetic wigs that I've seen. Now, for the last style, I did decide to go ahead and do a cute little half up, half down because, hey, it's a frontal baby girl. Like, we have to do some type of updo. So that's what I went ahead and did. I went ahead and wrapped some hair around the ponytail and then secured it with a bobby pin. And all I can say is I definitely think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this unit. The amount of parting space, ugh, I'm obsessed. I'm so glad that they decided to go ahead and make some major changes to their wig line. So I will go ahead and leave some information in the description box below if you want to check her out. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you liked it, then don't forget to leave your girl a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.